So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Resident Evil Remastered. So in this episode guys, we're going to be retackling the plant monster that is Plant 42 and being more prepared. Last episode guys, I ended up doing a puzzle, walking through a door thinking, hey, there's probably going to be like a save point here and um, yeah, it was a boss. Now I don't want that to happen again guys, that was pretty damn tragic. I think what I'm going to do to start this episode off is pretty much tackle Plant 42. I think I'm going to change the weapon I'm using and talking of weapons, the animation for Chris doing this, I, I mean he's got his finger still on the trigger, it's a matter of time before- One more thing I figured out too, is that I think I've been doing this whole section wrong here. I'm now gonna push this and, I mean, wait for it because we already know it's gonna- If I actually push this crate one more to the side here, cover up the other slot on this side, like there's another piece of wood that is open, then we can literally climb over the crate and we never have to get grabbed by the thing again. At least that's my theory, like it's probably not gonna work out. One more thing I've done as well, guys, is I've now swapped out for the Magnum. I haven't even used the thing, I've just been storing it and storing it and I think now is the time we can let this thing shine. I mean, look at this as well, we didn't get attacked by the tentacle thing, so solution found. And I've already been hit by this thing, well that's just awesome, isn't it? I need to figure this thing out though, dude, I don't even know- Whoa! Okay, run Chris, seriously, what the freak? Oh, no, God! I don't like my odds right here. This thing is crazy. Uh, whoa! What the f We got like gasopod things on the side. Okay, is this like a save point or something? Did that work? Okay, let me keep shooting a sec. Are we, are we doing good? I don't understand. I've shot four times. It's doing this like acid thing. Then it like swings its tentacle. Like, look, it's like. Bro, how do I know when I have. To when do I go? This is so confusing. Hold up. Shoot now. Did that hit? I got it. Okay, what is it doing? Ew! It looks like it's dead already. Like, do I really need to finish shooting this thing off right now? I'm just standing here. It's like a perfect point. Okay, it's done the gassy thing. Wait, I think I just did it. <laughs> Hold up just a sec. It's so like this plant, like, you wasted your time and I did it. So I think that must have been plant 42. And let me just double check. Is it dead? Like, can I examine this thing? No, I can literally dance in its grave. They're like, let's get it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, one. And ironically, in the fireplace, or like an old fireplace at least, will you take the mansion key? We got a brand new key back in the mansion. So we're up here about to start backtracking, I guess. And uh, okay, right. I think it's time to leave. I'm glad we uh, got to the root of that problem. <laughs> hey. Oh, you scared me. Uh, you okay? No comments yeah, on that? It's dead. Okay, good stuff. How does she know? Richard. Oh. He's... We haven't spoke about this, dude. Gone. Mm-hmm. She knows I'm it, too. I'm sorry. It's like we were the ones... It's my fault. Somewhere. I should have watched out for him. I mean, how could we some I of the found time, a pharmaceutical though? room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll okay. be there. All right, thanks. I'm glad you're still okay. Thanks very much. <laughs> wait, wait up! Why did she just run off like that? Plant 42 then is down. And I think, uh, wait, where is the pharmaceutical room around here? Let me just check on the map. I don't recall ever seeing one. It's probably going to be where the typewriter and item box is, I would imagine. Though I'm not 100% sure. There's this room over here, though. I don't- Oh! Is this the pharmaceutical room? Yes, it is! This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. There's loads of shiny stuff, okay. Want me to treat your wounds? I, I, I mean, probably should, to be honest. We were damaged yeah, a little bit. You? Nice. Thanks. Sweet. So we are all done here. I'm gonna assume after he checks his arm works. Oh. Oh, dang. This is kind of sad, Richard Passon and everything. Be strong, Rebecca. Okay. All right, glad she's okay. <laughs> What the heck? She was so emotionally broken right there. Chris was just like, be strong, Rebecca. And she's fine. Like, what's this dude's touch got? Like, seriously. Like, he's... Oh. What the heck is he doing? Wesker? Um, whoa. See the smirk on his face? You're alive. I was just shooting the My family pictures. Exactly. <laughs> what was he doing? Hold on. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. See a body on the floor. <laughs> I, I should stop. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. And he took like seven hours to come up with Wesker? that one. We should get a better grip on the situation. I hadn't there thought about that. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Mm. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. 
I'll continue my investigation here. What, sure by thing. shooting family pictures? Oh, wait, we got some twitches on the floor down here. That must be what he meant by that then. What else do we actually have to do in this zone? I'm trying to think, like, do we actually need to do anything at all? Honestly, guys, I'm actually starting to think we're all done in the residence area of this. So if that is the case, first thing I'm going to do is save my progress. I feel like we made some great ground right there. And uh, then we're going to be heading back to the mansion. I need to see what this mansion key is used for. And, uh, you know, I'm going to equip this thing, the self-defense gun. I've never used it. We've got one shot. Why not? Rebecca treated us as well, so we don't need to worry about the first aid box or anything like that. We can always come back here as well if we need like a free save or should I say like a free heal? Whoa! I got 22, well 32 shotgun shells right now. I did not even realize. I guess I don't really need the ink ribbon saying that, so I'm going to put these away too. I think I'm going to take the old key because I feel like there was one route that we didn't use it for and uh, it was where there was like the paintings and the crows. I don't know, like might be freaking wrong right here. As for the residents, so like Rebecca, good luck getting back, all right? I'm all done here. Wolves howl away. I'm getting out of this zone. I'm just wondering now, is there going to be snakes like raining? This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. How? Krista Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. No. Dang it. I guess we're going to have to try and find another way in that case then. And what that way is, who knows? So no snakes whatsoever. Oh, oh, okay. That goes. I literally just walked past that dog, kicked him straight in the- oh! I literally run- I, What are they doing? Like, running at me and kicking me in the back of the forehead? Okay, like, we need out of here right now. So, uh, is this right- oh, Goodness for that. Down there, there's quite a few herbs that we can use to our advantage, I guess, if we need to backtrack. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, keep running. Keep running. Oh! What? There is, like, 20,000 snakes! <laughs> there was no way we could successfully avoid that low- Hold up, it's a snake. Let me, uh- Goodness. I assume right there that I was probably going to be poisoned or something, but nope, we are all good. And uh, we could use the crank there, though I don't really see much of a reason. I'm just going to keep the original focus, which was getting back to the mansion by this point. All the dogs around here were definitely taken care of ahead of time. I am in the fight as well for Hal. We're all good. Okay, this should pretty much be them back in the mansion. Uh, holy crud, are you serious? <laughs> Resources Use this to protect yourself from the monster in chains. That can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Wesker. What? Wesker, you are just dropping us off so much good stuff. So we're probably going to have to inevitably backtrack here then to get all of these resources. So let me just try and remember. This side is where we can head down to the residence house at the other end. I don't feel like we need to go there just yet. So uh, yeah, back to the mansion then as priority. Let's do this. All right, we are back in the mansion, dude. Uh... Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> oh gosh, it's stalking us right now. Legit, this is the- I, I, I'm straight up positive. What, what is in here? A self-defense gun that fires magnum rounds. One has been used already, so this thing is very powerful. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna equip this. I think there was one monster following us right there. <laughs> oh god. <gasps> Thank goodness. I landed my shot. Oh my gosh. So whatever that thing is there, that is freaky as heck. I'm going to swap out now to the shotgun. I got six more shots on this thing. Oh my goodness me. Don't tell me that is a crimson head. What happens when you kill them and don't like set them on fire or something? The Spencer family, that's the one place then we haven't been in the mansion or one of. There's uh, a few more places while around this thing. Let me just check. This here is a one-way ticket, but there's a typewriter just there. So uh, perhaps this might be useful. Okay, let's go. Ah! Okay, no, no. It's nice and close. Let's love him. Get close. Hey, wait, wait, bro. Did you just literally stuff the barrel through the body of that thing and then get hit by it? So I could go upstairs right now, but I feel like there's not really much of a point. Woo! I'm in caution already as well. Those things, when they swing, they hit real, real hard. For that reason, I think I'm going to keep this with me, the ammo, and uh, I'm going to have to use a health item or something. Here we go then, guys. So I've just saved my progress, did a little bit of item organization, and uh, I'm just trying to think now which is the best way to go because I want want to preferably head back to the main mansion hall and I think this might be like a shortcut through so we're gonna see yes it is perfect we run past the door that had the weird like smoke puzzle that was where we first saw Rebecca and Richard with Richard like breathing some of his last breaths anyway and I think this now leads directly to the mansion I mean look at that look at that remembrance right there one thing I want to do quickly is head on outside though there is one particular gateway which has been in my mind for the longest time. I want to see if maybe just a usual, uh, like, old key can be used to access this thing. This one here. Let me just see. It's locked from the other. This door here, then. You use the mansion key. Yes. I knew this was the one door. I think. Uh. What the freak is going on here? Firstly, 
What is this? There's something handwritten and not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide safely here for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. And now he does because you're stupid enough to leave a book talking about this secret out in the open. Let me just head down here. There's an ominous door at the end of a- Okay. Oh god, that's strange! <laughs> <laughs> that was a mirrored reflection. Okay, don't do that again, don't. Firstly, I'm gonna take this dagger here. Let me just see if I can try and maneuver around this guy without getting hit by him. Then I can get whatever that item was in the corner. All right, here we go. So what is this? Will you take the jewelry box? I mean, like valuables inside, sure. The jewelry box. Now I'm used to inspecting by this point as well, which is the first thing I'm gonna do. We appear to have like a shape that could fit like a sphere in there. We have some shards around the edges and a shape on top as well. We need to maybe put something in there spherical as it appears to be and then maybe it will give us access to that so i'm just checking on the map right now there's a few rooms that we can see which are red i'm wondering if maybe those rooms are the ones we're yet to access and so need to i think i'm gonna go back to the save box because i don't understand at the minute guys what this jewelry box thing is i'm gonna need to figure that out at some point clearly it's gonna have something inside of it but uh, i want to see if i can just access these other areas Okay, that's just gross. There was a door around this section, this very silent, ominous section with the puzzle. Down the far end here, there was something. Yes, I knew there was. You yeah. used the mansion key and it was for that exact key. I'm now starting to think, guys, that whatever we're doing here, that... Uh, I'm gonna keep moving down here. I don't like that sound whatsoever. Um, should I... Oh, gosh! Freak is that? Oh, for God's sake. Are you kidding me? Hold up, hold up. Take some time. Oh, God, it's getting close. Go, go, go. What the freak? It's the giant snake from before. Oh, shoot. Hold up. Oh, hex no. If it poisons us, we're dead. And I gotta, I gotta fight it, haven't I? Yep. Come on, it's only a giant snake. Like, we got this. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna clear out right now. Uh, that statement about getting this. So it's following us around and around. So maybe we shoot in the face when it comes back this way. Oh god, okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. My dude! Look how quick it is! Oh my gosh, it is so quick, man. Okay, that's a bad camera angle. Let me just see, okay, here we go. There's another shot! Woo! And we move. I feel like I got this down. It's basically running circles with this guy, okay? See, he's always gonna lunch. Always be mindful of that, okay? Get that good camera angle. Line up our shot this time. That's better, Chris. Good job. Once we see the head, I'm gonna shoot this thing. So here it comes. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> <All right. laughs> it changes direction. Ah! Okay, that's gotta be close. Uh, I thought he was dead right there. Nope. Just trying to attack. Here we go. Okay. Oh, dang! Did we do it? No way. Okay, I see that thing like foaming or like whatever it is. It's dead. Are you serious right now? So. I don't know what this thing was, but let's freaking get it. I'm not trying to brag, guys, but like two bosses down already. Like, let's let, <laughs> you know, let's go. What is this that it gave us, though? Oh, we can't. This whole backtracking thing, to be honest, guys, it is so preventable right now. This is just my fault. I've got like ink ribbons in my inventory and stuff like that. It's just me not being entirely mindful of what I'm carrying at all times. And so now I'm paying the cost. First thing is first, we got Crimson Head all around here. Guys, oh my god, there is- Dude! Okay, I gotta move around him quickly. I had to fire at least one shot there just to get through this door here. I'm hoping that- are we good? Seems kind of silent. I'm hoping there's nothing that's gonna be around here. I think we're okay, thank goodness for that. Alright guys, so now I'm kind of backtracking and walking a lot around the mansion. I'm trying to think of any ways that I didn't have access to before. One is one of the original puzzles, which is the way we originally came from. And I feel like I missed a room, so we are now back. It was down the far end here. We lit like a fireplace before, if I remember correctly as well. And then there was one single door that we could not get through. Okay, there's none of those freaking lizard things. I have a nice violet thing. Mansion key, I knew there was at least one more door. Okay, there's that puzzle music again. So we have some kind of statue here. Right, let me push it into this zone here. I'm not sure. Okay, the walls are closing in, so the stone surely won't crumble. Let me just keep walking. And that picture on the right, by the way, barbaric is free. Keep it going, Chris. Okay, the stone does support this. Put away this side, and uh, okay, we run down. That appears to be another one of the statues and a button. There's a switch here, sure. Uh, oh god, okay, get out! Chris, get the freak out. And then, uh, what about if we go back in here now? There's another slot to push it in, so we gotta then go here push it over. I don't know how or if we're gonna have the time. Come on, we got this! Yes! 
that slides nicely into place, and there Aye. we go. Well, this does not look normal. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down? Sure. We've got, like, a book down here. Strange place to be reading, that's all I'm saying. Eagle of the South, Wolf of the North. Most confusing book title ever. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with... Whoa, what? I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica and Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in my whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. The name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. Okay, there's a switch as well. We're going to press it. So that must be the owner of the mansion then. The Trevor family are the ones who own this place. Oh, dear. It ends the music change. My God, imagine like waking up to that thing at the bottom of your bed like, you know, we got another one just here. So I'm gonna move away for now. Uh, a small corridor and we have something down here inside the cardboard lights of this guided shell of a molting spider. No, down below. Shotgun shells, let's always take that good stuff. So six more. They're not really attacking as such though. They kind of do like this fighting stance. Can I just like walk right around? <laughs> okay, no, they spit junk at you. And I'm poisoned and I have nothing to heal myself up with. So there's a blue one right here. It's exactly what I need. We're just gonna have to consume that straight away. All right, let me take this one out first. Okay, his head is gone. Your head is gone. It looks like the power supply for an elevator. The main fuse has blown out. Let's switch it over. The power supply appears to be functioning. That was probably key towards the elevators, I guess, scattered around the mansion too. Looks like that was it down here. So we can now head on out. You unlocked it. This is a doorway to Oh, I did mention that door. Let me try and call this then so we can use it. Yes, that's how we gain access to that moment. If we just had the key, all of that would not happen. What do we have here? Okay, you are close. Oh, shoot, there's two. Okay, let's get rid of your head. Okay, you can see We've got some double door here. The doorknob is broken. It doesn't look like it'll open. And I see you, Moth, watching this whole thing unfold. If you're so desperate for a shotgun round, I mean, there you go. You're welcome. This guy came from here. Or at least he was near this door. There's another one I've just seen. We got shotgun and magnum. Nice. I do feel like I want to save the magnum for a time when we're ready. <laughs> now we can take the battery. So I actually just went back, guys, and I saved. There's a real nice cut through point to access this zone now, which takes no time at all. If we go on through here, it brings us out to the corridor with the two crimson heads. But then we can just simply go straight through this door. And you see, like, we're already here. Oh. This was a door we never had access to, so there's no further use for the mansion key discard. That must mean that all doors then in the mansion are now... Uh, hey, uh, eagle of all seeingness, what's good, huh? Wait, what's this? Uh, will you take the shotgun shells? I mean, yep, yeah, why not? It's following us wherever we go, but why? There's a switch here, okay? Why it's gone out. Uh, what we... He's got like a red eye, and we can push this? So, hold up, let me... That one's got a yellow one, so let me just push these back a second. Why would we... Oh, hold up, I think I get it. When the eagle looks, the eyes start blinking. When the eagle doesn't look, it looks like we can... Look, the eyes not blinking, so maybe that's when we can take it. If I run underneath the eagle, he doesn't see. So if I then run quickly, let me climb up here. I need to take the yellow one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes! We'll go ahead and do the exact same one for the red two. Take it out the eye. And there we go. Both gemstones got. With the gemstones then, do they fit in the like jewelry thing let me try and combine this with that it was so the red one is for that and all the shards just fell off okay select a piece let me choose that we are making something right here guys we got to build like a shape i guess hold up hold up let me just place is that right there maybe that sits like so this piece looks like it sits right there wait can i are you kidding me right now? Then this goes right there. Move that up just a bit. And then the final piece is dead central. It looks like it goes just like so, maybe. And it opened it. There was a brooch inside. If we examine this, it ain't no brooch. I knew it'd be something like a key. The Spencer family key, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. That is of big importance. But the yellow gemstone, then, what is that for? Oh, shoot. Okay, like, we're backing up. Oh, my God. Okay, save room. Now I'm gonna kill him, guys. There's one shot. Okay, let me see him. Here we go. Okay, there's two. Is he down? He didn't do the shriek. Okay, yes. Okay, we're fine from that. But in this room here, this is where there was the lion head. I'm thinking the gem is used here? Yes! So now it's got one blue and also one yellow. And what is it giving us? Uh, what, what the freak is that? Like Resident Evil on GameCube? Will you take the MO disc? I suppose we will. Not quite sure what that's for. But thanks, I guess. So here we go, the Spencer door, the emblem key. There's no further use, so let's just chuck that thing away. What's the big deal with it? Oh, is that Rebecca? Rebecca, 
What, is she upstairs? A uh, good point. I guess we gotta go. Whereabouts upstairs could she be? Where's the nearest safe room? We gotta back out of this. I'm not interested in that right now. Was it a room up here? Um, which room could it be? Perhaps the one with the fire? Oh, God. Okay, I found it. Can we shoot? She's still alive. The thing's right there. Chris, shoot your shotgun. What the freak is this dude doing? He was like standing there. Okay, that's fine. Hey, get freaking body, you dingus. Rebecca. What the f- Rebecca. Chris. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until wow, then, man. Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Mm -hmm. Got it? I can handle myself. This is like vintage Chris's pickup lines. Good, good luck. All right, now before I was rudely interrupted, let's get back on track. This is the Spencer room that we needed for so long. Apparently, uh, there's a switch here. Press it. Sure. It's just, it's just a light switch. It's just a light switch. All right, what is this? Will you take the metal object? Sure. All right, guys. So now what I'm doing is I'm actually heading back over to where there was the two dogs in the sort of like courtyard area. Now, I know that it's those two med kits. Uh, you know what? No, I am going to pick... Uh, should I pick both of them up? I mean, I am in caution. So yeah, I'm going to take both for now. In this courtyard, there is no dogs whatsoever. However, there is some here. Okay, we can avoid that one. Let me just use this real quick. Okay, and just use it real quick. Stop talking about how it's not there and put it in. Battery's in. I got to get in this lift ASAP. Here we go. New zones. Let's get it. And this is taking us up a level. So, uh, okay. Where the freak are we? Uh, wait, why did, why did I do that? <laughs> I've been running around for the longest time, guys. What I did was use the crank and, and like, open this thing because I saw it. This is on the level with the dogs because I was thinking, like, we have this cut-through point. And the only thing that I felt was relevant to try was the hand crank to introduce water because we'd never have to go that way again anyway. So uh, it kind of made, like, somewhat sense. I don't know, probably didn't. Like, I just did it randomly, to be honest. Glad I found that and glad now that I can continue progressing on with wherever we're going right now. So, uh, what the freak? Oh, we got a save point. Let's go. I need yes, ribbon. Let's yes, get it in. Get... Now there's less worry about messing up as we explore this place. Okay, so we have something in the wall. Is that for the crank? There's a hexagonal. So I remember the other one was a square hole. That's definitely not the one for that. But there is another door we can check out down here. So let's see what secrets this has. Maybe we can find the hex crank this way. So up this way, we got... What the freak? Is that like a, a large boulder? There are blood... Okay. I'm going to take the shotgun ammo and just... Uh, I'm going to nod, nod and move. All right, another door at the bottom here. Let's head on through this one then. Let's see what we got through here. Um, a gate and some kind of like elevator. The elevator's power source. There's a round lid. Open it. All right, what the freak is this? Will you take the shaft? <laughs> Guys, I don't know how else to say this right, right now, <laughs> but I don't think Chris is quite ready to take the shaft. <laughs> Look, guys, it's the game's way of telling us to take it, or I can't help it. Dude, these, oh. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What? What, what happened? <sighs> you, you, oh, you look, you've been Double bit? Double crosser. Enrico, oh, me, wait. What? Uh, oh! Enrico! Someone else just shot the dude. Um, well, uh, All right. Enrico! What? You see that dude's lips, though? Double crosser. What is he talking about? Good point. I have my suspicions. I think Wesk is being strange behind the scenes, man. Maybe Chris knows that he knows someone else is down here with us. But, like, can we just comment on the way that his lips moved as opposed to what he said? Double crosser! That's a crank, and I can already see from the end piece of that. That was like a hexagonal shape straight out of the bat. So... Bruh. Oh, my God! Whoa! Oh, my God. One more? All right. Okay. And nice. Let's go back. This okay. Yep. Yeah, this is right. What are we... Okay, I'm going to stay here. Okay. And wait. And one more shot. Is he done? He's still not done. Okay. Here we go. That should be it. And he's dead. Let me check my ammo. I've got two shots. Well, I've actually got eight. Loaded that back up in the meantime in case there's any more. They... Okay, he's definitely dead. I thought he was still alive. Here we go. Let's use this. So let me turn that just the once. I'm going to imagine the dirt will align with the crevices in the ground. So, all right. Is that good? Yeah, we can walk across. My health is a little bit low. I think what I'll do is just take one of these and maybe just consume that. All right, let's check out this door through here then. What else do we have? We've got a flamethrower. Always nice. What more, though? Just before I take it, I don't want to, like, mess myself up. Oh, there's a freaking ball that coming. Oh, my God. So this time, Chris just has to run. Okay, look. He just... 
it, bro, literally, I'm not changing. I'm just holding the button. It just seems so inconsistent with my controller. I have no idea why, but that's done out of the way. Thank goodness for that. All right, got some shotgun shells here. My inventory is packed out again already. Ah, the boulder revealed a new door. That's interesting. Oh, shoot. Um, oh my god, a third boss in one single video. That's a big spider. That, that's got big fangs, all right? I mean, we just literally got the flamethrower. So, uh, you know, let's get it. All right, here we go. Ah, and that was pathetic. Let me try this again. Here we go. Wait, firstly, let me just see my health. I'm in caution. I'm not going to use that just yet. Let me try and dodge this thing. It's spitting like venom and stuff. Oh, dude, how can we judge when it's going to, like, do something? Oh, my gosh. It lunges so quick. Get up, dude. Oh, my God, man. This is crazy. I'm going to use this. Let me just do this one more time. Come on. Is it not killing it? Oh, oh. That thing's abdomen just literally exploded. That was gross, but freaking awesome. There's something out here, dude. I just literally left it. Oh, my God. Thank goodness that was a one shot. So wait, coming back here was a wise thing to do. I was gonna check for health items and such, but oh, maybe I should. I don't know. The large spider's literally just gone, like just like that. Uh, there's a door here. Maybe we can use the flamethrower on this. Ah, let's go. Yes. Woo. That's what I like. Ah, uh, ready. Really? They do provide us with a survival knife here. So quite clearly, we need to cut at these kind of like vines or whatever the spiders have sewn together here. Let's go on through and I'm gonna switch my weapons up straight away just to be safe. This is a totally new zone, I think, too. So, uh, oh, they're giving us plenty of stuff for poison. And there's also a map of the courtyard B. I can't carry anything else. So really, I'm just exploring right now. Hold up, is this door locked? Let me just check this out. The door is locked and won't open. So maybe if I put the flamethrower back on this thing, will it work? There's the flamethrower, and it looks like it did actually just give us access to another room. Let's head on through then. I got the magnum right now, guys. I don't know. Oh, that looks like a boulder rolling path, and I don't really want to die again. Ah, there's a boulder. So I think we got to use the crank with this thing, and then the boulder's going to roll down. Here we go. This one was different. Right, it gave us like a little shortcut path as well. We could head in there and that would be a safe... Shoot, dude, dude, go, go, go! <sighs> Whoa! That is more tense than any boss battle, those boulders. Because that's an instant death right there, man. Like, ah-ah. Uh -uh. What was up here firstly? There's always some good stuff as well. So we got a... Uh, that's a first aid box. I think that's like a full heal right there. Oh, we got a puzzle room. We got a puzzle room. So that is a... What? There's a hexagonal hole, so we already know. Okay, so that seems to bring out like an indentation in the wall interesting. Okay, so with that used, what do we do? We have a statue here. So that's gonna... Ah, I got it. I got you. And I think I already see what we gotta do as well. Statue, right there. Hexagonal shape, pushes out statue. Rotate block, rotate. And there we go. So that gives us some kind of device. Looks like masking tape. I can't carry it, which sucks, but uh... Oh man, I shouldn't have picked up the first aid, should I? Now I can take this then. So will you take the cylinder? Sure thing. I'm wondering what more is it to really do around here? I've just checked the entirety of this zone. There's nothing more. Let me check the map. So on the map, I've done absolutely everything in this zone as well, guys. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna try is it's gotta be something to do with the elevator. Like, it's the only thing I can think of. So in this instance, uh, Chris is gonna take the shaft. Yeah, get it out, get it out. I'm gonna combine this with that. I knew, I knew it was something like that. I'm gonna pop then the shaft back in here. So Chris is gonna give the shaft to <clears throat> a series of flashing buttons. Press one. Uh, nah, I'm good, man. Ah, I figured out it, guys. So it is four, two, three, one. Four, then we're gonna press two next. We're gonna follow that up with three. And then last but not least, one. It looks like the power has been restored. Now we have access to the elevator. So I guess we're gonna head down and see what exists. We have ended up somewhere deeper in this cave system. There's one door. So uh, let me just see. All right. I'm gonna go this way here. What the frick? Uh, hello? Is some Wait, is something here? Freak, but this side here- Oh, Kate! Oh! Dang, it's that thing! It's the thing that like hit us before. So we've got a lever there. Where am I going? I'm gonna pull this, I suppose. Let me just pull- I don't understand what's happening. Okay. Do I need the flamethrower for that? Yep. I can't open the door no matter what I do, guys. So uh, I need to go all the way back again and get the freaking shotgun, bro. I'm, this will be my freaking end. It will be my end. Hold up, there's like a side room here. Okay, we've got like a box. Uh, instinctively, or I, I don't even know. I'm just going to push this box onto that elevator thing. This uh, It's a strange thing to do, Chris, but I mean, your, your stars member, I, I shouldn't judge, but really, like, people will when you do this stuff. That's on there. Uh, device transport materials. I'm going to send this thing along. I'll see you later. I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. Though, couldn't we just literally get in that with it? So it turns out, guys, there was actually another way to get down to this point here. The elevator itself was broken. 
And uh, we literally just exit wherever the freaking monster thing is. And then to our right hand side, we've got this. Now, let me push this over here. I'm just doing this because it's the only thing really I can think to do. And what is this device here? That looks like some kind of compressor, is it? The box is in there then. So a garbage compactor. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing by this point, guys. I'm just doing it. It's gonna break the box, so maybe what was inside was what else we can put on there. And it looks like it's the flamethrower. Let's get it. Okay, now I'm gonna use the broken flamethrower, and it is exactly what we needed. Almost like a key for some reason. A very strange way of doing things. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the freak? Where am I? Um... All right, I'm gonna make my way through this place as quickly as I just came here. What the heck is going on? This is- wait, actually, is there any, uh, any magnum ammo around here? Like no, I'm, I'm going back to plan A. I'm out. Oh my god, freaking river snakes. What? Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go because they will be following us on dry land as- Well, uh, what the heck? Maybe they won't. I don't know. Is there anything around here? We got ourselves a dagger, though. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else. Photographs of a young girl depicting various scenes from her upbringing. Will you take the jewelry box? Sure thing. Let me just check this thing out then. Uh, it says something on the top right there. We're gonna open it. Oh, that's for the metal object that we can use. So we got the uh, stone object. Or wait, what am I even saying? Family picture and notes. Uh, what are the notes? There's something written. So 1967. Progenitor virus administered to Jessica. Type uh, A, plasmalizing a tissue during sal. Lisa got the B virus, and let me just see. Positive but delayed fusion. Observed constant results. Continue protective observation. Seems to be notes then depicting really what happened with the different people and uh, how they were injected. So I'm going to assume that that person in the chains, that is probably one of the people who was at some point injected. Now we've gone up a ladder, and wait, where are we? Whoa, this was like a... Hold up. We're back. That explains why the monster was here before. This must be like her residence, I suppose? First of all, then, I'm gonna combine this guy right with that. Now we have a stone and metal object. So let me just examine this quickly. An emblem is carved into the octagonal object. I think that's really all it's saying in the grand scheme of things. I do know there's another one that we can actually grab. So I think as well I know where to use that, which is underneath in the main hall. Okay then, guys, we're gonna leave this one here. Again, so much was going on with this episode. I recorded for over two hours as well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. And in the next part, I feel like it's all kind of accumulating now to this big event. And I think it may be the ending. So if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.